the dry ice experiment. What we have is a very, very nice example, but we shouldn't perform it at home because the dry ice, oh, the dry ice is very dangerous and we shouldn't touch it. The experiment is very simple. So we have four jars in different sizes and today we're gonna use them for the experiment. We'll start with the small ones first, then we'll use the larger ones. It's awesome! <sighs> okay, so we'll start the experiment with those small jars. And now I will use this color. This is the red color. I love it. <gasps> Whoa, it's so cool! Now let's change it up and I feel like using the color blue. Frozen ice. How about first we use a small piece? We shall see what a small little piece like this will do. Let's take a look. You see? Let's start with the red. One and two and three. <gasps> wow! Oh, look how nice! We'll now use a larger piece. Are you ready? One, two, and three. <gasps> wow! <gasps> Yay, I did it! I'll now add the dishwashing liquid to see what happens. We're going to use 
the largest jar of the whole bunch. <gasps> we'll now use the two large jars for the science experiment. Which one do you think we should start with? Um, I feel like using the orange color, like the mandarin. Um, how nice. Look how nice it is. Oh, it's so cool. color again because I like it very much. Oh, how cool. Oh, it's turning green. Wow. And now we're going to add the frozen ice. We'll use the larger pieces. Don't drop it. One and two. Are you ready? Click on like and subscribe. I'll see you soon.